Hi guys! Are you interested in tube amps? Welcome! Today I will show you a classic and famous hi-fi tube amplifier built by Sean Hiraga in the 80s. I will show you all details in a minute, including the interior. Let me just say one thing. There's nothing wrong with them sister amps. Some people get totally crazy when you're talking about tube amps and others get completely mad when you're talking about transistor amps. But what's better anyway, transistor or tube? Well, depends on what you prefer. Really, if you like transistor amps the most, well, that's okay. And if you prefer tube amps, well, it's okay either. I like amps from both worlds, transistor and tubes. At least uh, I'm not a fan of voodoo bullshit and fake tube amps. As an example, check out Dave's EEV blog episode number 837, where he debunks such a thing. Such things are ruining the music signal with their bullshit tube sound. They only add up unnecessary harmonics and distortions to the signal. They are forcing the music through a completely unnecessary signal path. But that's against any audiophile rule. And yeah, it has nothing to do with proper tube amplification. Such things are giving tube amps their bad name. And here is where my story continues. The Sean Hiraga Model 50. It was engineered by Sean Hiraga in the 80s. Forget about the design. It's, it's, it's not a deal. It's all about the schematic. The Model 50 is a neutral sounding tube amplifier. Trust me when I say the sound of this amp is amazing simply by not sounding itself. A lot of effort went into the schematic design. Some say Sean Hiraga was a genius. Who knows? But look at the article. That's amazing. And I don't even speak French myself. Gut, uh, meine Klavierlehrerin kann Französisch, aber ich glaube, das zählt nicht. Look at the calculations, graphs and details. Sean Hiraga lived for the ultimate music experience. He was not an audio fool and not a tube fool as well. He wasn't focused on tubes only. Anything was allowed, just if it helps to improve the sound quality. By the way, uh, Sean Hiraga also did some famous transistor ramps. Here is the amplifier while playing in my hi-fi setup. Yeah, not high-end of course. I can't play the music for obvious reasons. It's copyright protected and you would only hear your speakers, your headphones, plugged to your transistor audio setup or tube setup, who knows, playing back what I have recorded on my cell phone with its tiny microphone inside. Yeah, go figure. This way you would never ever experience Sean Hiraga's schematic and his idea of an audio amplifier. Let's have a look inside. The power transformer from the bottom view with wirings for 6.3 filament voltage and the anode voltage of 400 volts something. Rectifiers. A high voltage reservoir capacitor followed by a DC coil and another reservoir capacitor of the same type smoothening the DC. Here are the output transformers made by Partridge. Yes, output transformers are a science itself. A lot of magic happens here. Yes, magic, but not voodoo. Special winding techniques are required to reduce parasitic capacitance. Special ferromagnetic materials on the core, a DC gap, and so on. So, that's the Sean Hiraga Model 50, built by Lecton. I hope you find this video kinda interesting. If you want, 
click on my other videos, uh, you could put the thumbs up, this always helps me a lot. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye! There we go.